<laughs> yes, we did throw it back there for you. And it's quite interesting that, I mean, these are issues that are became very heated in the recently in Nigeria talking about you know sex for grades and um, all of the talk around sexual harassment in our schools um, to think that this music how, how when did this all come out 18 years ago 18 years ago I have the legend here with me Idris Abdul Karim thanks for being here today thank you thank you're talking about an issue there that like I said has suddenly become a, a talking point but when you release the song at the time yes people love the song People got the message, but people still moved on. But you were speaking the truth at the time. And a lot of your songs back then, people still play them today and they're like, oh, you, what you're saying then is still relevant today. Does it make you happy to know that your songs are still relevant or do you feel sad that we haven't moved on? Yes, that's, that's it. You know, um, Phila says that uh, music is for revolution. Music is a tool to educate the people. And uh, I believe so because... Uh, at the end of the day, it's about legacy because we're not going to live forever in this world, you know, but what you leave behind and what would you be remembered for, yeah. you know what I mean? So for me, I believe that music is a platform that you need to use to add value to the lives of people. Yeah. So I saw that coming in, I use it, and it's yeah. a beautiful thing Who, today. Was that a bimbo Oyemi? Oh, yes, the story has to do with a bimbo Oyemi. Actually, the lady in the video name is uh, uh, Spice Aliu. She used to be a radio presenter in Benin, you know. But the girl that this story happened to actually was bimbo Oyemi. A lecturer was trying to harass her. I was in one of the university, like, I don't need to call yeah. her name, you know. So we went for an event and she was just crying, you know. Yeah, we were just chilling, we were having fun, me and my crew, and she's like, something's wrong with that girl, talk to her. She told you her story. Hey, what's going on, talk to me. You know, she was, told me her story, and we were privileged to go to the hotel. But unfortunately, we were not able to release the video. We just said, listen, man, you can continue to do this with this girl. If you continue with this, we're definitely going to release this video. As Stay lecturer. out of it, the lecturer. Oh, wow. So just leave the lady alone. Her name is Bimbo Oyemi. So yeah. today um, is a beautiful vindication that uh, I saw a couple of um, realities still repeating itself a few weeks back with yeah. the BBC interview and all that. Yeah. So good thing. Yeah. You, 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 speak, you speak the truth a lot interviews, music, um, your career generally, both off and on air. Um, and there's many people who believe that that probably has affected your career in some way. Do you think that that, that was the case, especially the you know, public, <laughs> publicized sort of drama with our ex-president of Asanjo? Do you think those sort of contributed to life is your about, career went? For me, life is about choice. And whatever you stand for, you have people who want to live that life with you, yeah. who want to go same path with you and you become classic for the rest of your life. In 2002, I dropped Nigeria Jaga Jaga, and the uh, ex-president came on the national TV and say, that boy we sing Jaga Jaga, and I'm Papa in family Jaga Jaga. I was very happy that my message got to the president. I was very happy that the president talked back at me because that means they're listening. That means they're listening, yeah. you know, and today, have been vindicated again, once again, because Nigeria is still Jaga Jaga. Oh, wow. It's sad. So for me, just like Fela said, music is a weapon to educate the people. And I'm happy I'm doing my thing. And that's why I will continue to be relevant. Yeah. Are there things maybe you think you should have done differently? No. I'm happy the life I'm living. How's your career these days? I know you started, you started a record label, The Cream, uh, a, a few years ago. You, What's happening with that? Okay, so basically when you know that um, you're a musician that speaks the truth, you should know that um, approximately 80% of people ain't going to like you. You know what I mean? Because you always fight for the truth. Like a couple of multinationals ain't going to like you too because you always have to make some revolution that will change the industry. Like 
for example, I remember back then that artists would come over to Nigeria, they'll be given the VIP treatment, you know, business class and all that, you know. Idris Abdul Karim fought that revolution that made Nigerians to start respecting the new generation of artists. Yeah. Back then, they don't respect them. You see them, they get out of the backstage. 50 Cent is coming, this one is coming and all that. Come on. Just like Olisa said, you know, you are a Nigerian artist, but you're universal. Our music is universal now, so believe in yourself. So for me, um, I know that fact, so I had to, you know, divide my interest and investment in other things that will bring me money. You Do know you think you mean? get enough credit from the artists who are currently... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. And I'm very, very sure that uh, with time, they're all going to realize that even though inside them, they know that, yeah. you know, this guy fought for us, man. For this war, so when you run into artists these days, what's what sort of conversations do you have? Do they acknowledge at least? Yeah, a few of them that I know that are real. And there's some who don't. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So life is about that, you know. So for me, I hate to be guilty. I like to speak my mind whether anybody likes it or not. Most importantly, when I know it's about truth. You stay relevant. I mean, I invested my money in agriculture, so I'm into cultivation. You know, I'm saying of Moringa and, um, you know, a okay. couple of other things, you know, strawberry and justice, beautiful business, you know, but the insecurity is crazy. We need to talk about all these things. No yeah. matter how you dance, shaku shaku, the problem all over. There's war in Nigeria. The Northeast is not safe. There's problem. People are marginalized. The Igbos are marginalized. Everybody's mute about it. And now the Yoruba feels like, hey, check this out, man. We need to be ahead of our game. I'm a tech one is here. We need to protect our people. Like, seriously, something is happening. Be careful. Youth, wake up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, it's crazy, though. You, you look at the music scene today, um, a lot of the, the people who are popping, like, like we say, yeah. in, in the industry, yeah. do you think they do enough of speaking up? You know, because mm. music has always been a, a wonderful medium. No, Fela did that's, it. That's, you did it. Do you think there's enough of Nigerian artists who we are need, We need more them? awareness of using your music and as, as an advocacy. But I'm very sure with time, few of them will quickly realize that and use it to add value to the lives of people because yeah. by the time you're out there, your legacy will speak for you. Yeah. What would you be remembered for? Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? And I'm also pleading that um, the vacuum that uh, created all the things that is happening in Nigeria, it's really, it's really messed up, man. People are dying, man. I would advise Naramalis, Lantan, uh, Bonaboy, who are playing Afrobeat. Afrobeat is an instrumentation that you need to use in educating people. Please do that sometimes in your songs. Yeah. Two, three songs, that's enough. You can do other things. Yeah. I mean, Asan Goku, I show, so you can imagine <laughs> that. Kind of but, you know, still your muse, use your music to add value to the lives yeah. of people. I mean, I'm sure you, you say you're in agriculture now, but I'm sure you still have an eye in music, definitely. Oh, yes, and I'm dropping... And a lot of people say that the one, the one genre... We'll come to what you're dropping. Yeah. But the one genre that seems to be suffering the most now of all of them is rap. Um, Afro, pop, and, you know, the street sound, all of that seems to be doing great. But rap in itself um, seems to not be as strong anymore. Do you agree with that? No, I don't agree with that. Rap is the reason why they're all getting paid today. Without rap music, there wouldn't have been the Neuromali, the, the band, the David Doe, and all those people. Yeah. They all stole from rap music to do what they do. So music is music. Genre is, on its own that's, yeah, that's, that's why they call it Afrobeat. Yeah. America is loving it. They appreciate it. They're appreciating it. They even come in here to steal from us. You know what I'm saying? So it's a beautiful thing. I'm proud of what is happening in our country. Still don't forget that. These are individual efforts. Yeah. The music industry is not regulated like the telecommunication industry and the banking industry. These are individual efforts. Yeah. And we're still doing good all over the world. Yeah. So make sure that you use your music to add value. So by the time you're off the scene, you always still be relevant. Yeah. Of course, you can't be here without us talking about <laughs> without us talking about um, remedies. Yeah. <laughs> How are things with you and Tony? Great. And Eddie, too. And Eddie. You know, that was um, the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I remember back then when we started, um, can you give us this opportunity? And when he was going to play the song on radio, he said, from 
Today, we're going to be playing 70% of Nigerian songs and 30% yeah. of foreign music. Those are the revolution that made it all happen today. Today, yeah. yeah. Are you guys still in touch? You guys, oh, yes. How we're often still you gonna, guys... We're working on an album. A uh, Remedies oh, album? A Remedies wait, album, wait. most definitely. You're working on a so Remedies So you're going to be listening to some same song, but new, different improvisation there. Yeah. That's, that's really good to know. So three of you are doing an album oh, together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not just you alone. No, yeah. Okay, when are we yes, looking sir. forward to this Wait, coming? watch out for it. <laughs> <laughs> this year? Inshallah. Watch out for it. Interesting. Yeah. What kind of sounds are you guys going to be exploring? Why did you wait <laughs> for <laughs> it? <laughs> no, this is exciting. Because a lot of us listen to Remedies yeah. in school back then. Yeah. And, I mean, we grew yeah. up listening to this thing. Oh, so it's, I think it's, it's, it's Shade yeah. and Shakomo and all that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Are you going to be working with like a, a bunch of new artists maybe? Oh, or? most definitely. Okay. Most definitely. Who would you be looking forward to working to? Oh, uh, man. <laughs> Sincerely speaking, um, I I respect the video. Okay. Yeah. That would be a good one. Actually. I respect the video. Remedies and Davido. Uh, I respect Born a Boy. I respect Zlantan and Naramali. Don't judge them. I know with time, <laughs> with time they will definitely get it right. You know, and um, I would want to tell. I want to thank EFCC for making it more popular. You know, it's a beautiful thing. You know, and I mean, <laughs> the case is still in court until guilty. You know. Yeah. So anyway, use your music and add value. That's yeah. what matters. So you can remain, you know, legendary for the rest yeah. of your life. That's, so that's good to know. Looking yeah. forward to a Remedy's album. <laughs> but you mentioned that everybody, I want to actually know your opinion of him. Because like I was talking about it with Elisa earlier. He's become sort of a cult figure amongst a lot of young Nigerians. And not just young Nigerians, Nigerians. I mean, there's the, the Malians. You know, it's a force and a movement. Um, what do you think about him and, you know, what, what he's about? It's a social vacuum that was not there that he took advantage of yeah. because of the ills in the society from the government that never provided from the youth. And he felt like, okay, you know what? If you as a president or ex-president or governor or senator can steal so much money, I can also do that my own way. And I can have my crew do that. We all know it's crime. When you do crime, you pay your time. You do your time. But sincerely speaking, it's not right. Yeah. So because there are people who also say, but are we promoting, you know, eels? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's so sad that um, it has gotten to this. Yeah. Uh, that's why Naramala needs to, at the same time, use this opportunity to call his fans and tell them that, listen, man, I used to be that. Today I'm now. And I want to do something better to add value to your lives. I'm not that kind of person. But listen, man, we can make the change. We can use our fan base to add value to the lives of the girl child. Not the negative part. Yeah. You know but he says I'm he's saying. not guilty. But so. with time, with time, everything will fall in place. He's yeah. just giving the crowd what they want. He knows Nigerians are crazy. Say, so, okay, I think she is. Okay, I'm a she is. Oh, mama, for me, God, don't get she is. That's that's exactly what he's doing. You know what I mean? But sincerely speaking, I would want him to use his talent to add value to the life of people. Now that is on, is 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 on that spotlight. he has the following. Yeah, yeah. That is on spotlight. It's very important. Um. You talked about La Creme Records earlier. Is that done? No, like La Creme Entertainment is still there. Okay. You know, but just, just because I need to make more money from other, you know, um, investments, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. we wait and we're still working on the ground with a couple of songs and new artists. So in 2020, you should be waiting for new artists. Okay. That will They're going to be signing on. Yeah. The, the, the scene Watch is out for OZ. Watch out for OZ. Okay. But the scene is very different from when you were... I want to talk about like maybe early 2000s and mid 2000s. Music is universal. Now. Music is universal. It doesn't matter when it comes well, to sound hits, evolves. You... Oh yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Music is universal. So do you still think? And it's, we still have it's... our fans there that are crying. They're like, listen, man. Yeah. People. The point is, how many radio station is so scared to speak the truth, or how many television station is so scared? to speak the truth so that the presidency don't say, oh, well, listen, man, you represent the opposition. You need to give the people opportunity to be themselves. Yeah. If not, I'm a, yeah, all I do. Yeah. Do you, do, you, do you feel like, do you sometimes feel like you, you I want to say this in the right way now, yeah. you came out in the wrong time. Um, I mean, there's no, you made a lot of money. You definitely made a, yeah, you opened doors for a lot of people. Yeah. And you were Idris at a time when yeah. 
I mean, you shared a stage with 50 cent, where 50 cent was at, yeah. was at its peak. Yeah. But you look at the industry now. I mean, we yeah. see people who come out with a single, and in six yeah. months, yeah. they are having a feature with Drake. And the streaming platforms has made money so accessible to artists now. Do you feel like maybe this could have been a better time for you to? No, I don't think so. Why not? I think that the perfect time that I came was the right time that I'm supposed to come. Because today, my music. Now you could have made more money. Oh, yes, I could have made more money which I'm still making that more money in alternative business. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's the idea. It's not about yeah. where you make your money. You can make your money in other things. But what do you do with your career? What do you do with your legacy? What do you want to be remembered for? What's your songs all about? Yeah. Would you be relevant for the rest of your life? That's the idea. So yeah, and okay. I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. So why agriculture, though? Oh, agriculture. What Everybody would chop every day now. You don't know <laughs> if you don't chop, you... I don't, got, I don't got no good now. Yeah. I don't got bad. So agriculture people are going to eat. You know, so we export and we still sell local too. Moringa yeah. is one thing everybody should Google and see the power of Moringa. Yeah. How would you describe, if someone, if someone was to describe your career in music, um, was, will controversial be a good word to use? I, if you call it controversy, I guess controversy loves me because truthful people, people don't like them. But it's better to speak the truth and be happy with your heart yeah. rather than leak somebody, I don't want to call yeah, it, a, let's yeah, not. and just <laughs> still be, yeah. you know. So I'm happy. Were, were they intentional? Oh, some of the, it's called choice. Yeah. So you chose to be controversial. It's called choice. I didn't choose to be controversial. I think controversy, controversy choose to love me <laughs> because um, when I speak the truth, you don't want me to speak the truth. I want chop on my life. You say, I had chop. But there were times when you played it up, just wasn't it? For God's sake, I had songs like Come Back Home. I had songs like Mr. Lecturer, yeah. reality songs, and people still dance with it. A lot of ladies, a lot of women love those songs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it affects them. It affects their children. You know what I'm saying? So those are the things that give me joy. Yeah. And I have my fan base on that level. And I'm good with it. Yeah. Have you, have you been in contact in any way with 50 Cent since the incident? <laughs> 50. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys met up? Have you guys tweeted at each other? Have you chatted? Has there been any contact at all? Um, the last time um, I was in Germany, they just left Germany. That was about um, 12 years ago okay. after, after the incident happened, happened. You know what I'm saying? And... Um, in 2012, um, Alaji Teju Karim was um, one of the partner with Kora Award. Okay. And um, they brought 50 cent bag to Abuja <laughs> and we were together on stage together. Okay. You remember that? Yeah. You know, so for me, I think that singular movement has created the awareness that multinationals need to respect our own artists. Whatever you're giving an international artist, make sure you give it to a Nigerian artist because they're all international artists. Yeah. So those fights, for me, is the beautiful revolution that created the beautiful industry. So I'm happy. Yeah. But like I, like I said, I, I still believe a lot of them probably you know, affected you in some way. Why don't you agree that they did? Or you don't care that they did? Because I knew it was going to happen. Yeah. I knew it was going to happen. I knew if I sang a song like Nigeria, Jaga Jaga, yeah. the president ain't going to be happy about it. Mr. Lecturer, lecturers ain't going to be happy about yeah. it. So I made a choice. Yeah. And you went with it. Well, I went with it. And I'm happy. I'm living my life. Would you ever consider politics? Now. Because you seem very passionate about, you know. Now you change. push me. Like every other <laughs> person, they push me when I go into politics. Um, I think if I go into politics, I will not be the same Idris Abdul Karim anymore. In what way? I don't know day. Unless, unless, you don't know the, unless yeah. <laughs> if we'll have greater youth in like people like um, Fela, Shore, and Kinsley, um, Tony, Mo, um, Elumelu, um, come together and form a new party that is so all different the that from, exist now, you don't... from from APC and PDP. So definitely a new platform. Oh, yes. So you would consider it? I will consider that. Okay, looking forward to that. Another, another part of um, Idris. But most importantly, very excited that it's going to be a Remedies um, album. Oh, yes. Hopefully in 2020. Oh, yes. Very exciting stuff. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks a lot for being here today. Thanks for having me, bro. All the oh, best. Boy, I'll be managed for the house. For the house. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it off here. <laughs> we'll take another break. I'll be right back. <laughs>